Amazing health effects of texting people with significant cardiovascular disease. This is Healthcare Triage News. Our story today is from JAMA, Effect of Lifestyle-Focused Text Messaging on Risk Factor Modification in Patients with Coronary Heart Disease, a Randomized Controlled Trial. Researchers looked at patients with coronary heart disease being treated at a tertiary care center in Australia. They had to be older than 18 years and have one of the following. A prior myocardial infarction, coronary artery bypass graft surgery, percutaneous coronary intervention, or at least 50% stenosis in at least one major epicardial vessel. Participants were randomized to one of two groups. The first got usual care. The second got usual care, but also received semi-personalized text messages, which were tailored to provide advice, motivation, and information that aimed to help them change their diet, be more active, or quit smoking if they were. They got four text messages a week for 24 weeks. These were sent on four of five randomly selected weekdays at random times during the day. The messages were not interactive, and they were told not to respond to them. They could stop getting the messages at any time. And of the 341 patients in the intervention group, only seven asked to stop getting them. Four didn't like them, one developed comorbidities, one moved to another country, and one went on vacation. All participants were assessed at baseline and at six months for LDL cholesterol, systolic blood pressure, BMI, physical activity, and smoking status. Let's pause a minute here. If you'd asked me to bet I would have put up all the money in my pocket on this being a negative trial. I mean, random text messages, one-way communication, that's all? No way would this make a difference. I was wrong. LDL cholesterol was five points lower in those in the intervention, 79 milligrams per deciliter versus 84, and it started higher in the intervention group. Systolic blood pressure was eight points lower, 128 milligrams of mercury versus 136. BMI was 1.3 points lower, 28 versus 30.3. Physical activity was way up, 936 metabolic equivalent test minutes per week versus 643. Even the percentage of people smoking was way down, 26% versus 43%. Before the trial, 53% of participants were smoking. I mean, the NNT for this intervention just for smoking cessation is less than six. It's crazy. They estimated the cost of this program to be about $10 for the 96 messages sent out. You could automate this easily. You don't even need a smartphone to get a text message. Granted, this is a reasonably motivated population. as They were already pretty sick. But this program worked much more than usual care. It also focused only on risk factors and not actual outcomes. We should do a study on those too. And it's also possible that some of the self-reported measures might be inaccurate. But most of these weren't self-measured. They are also only six-month outcomes, and we don't know how much the results will stick. But come on, this is promising. It really is. It's low cost. It's easy to do. It can work in resource-limited settings. If this was a drug, people would be investing like crazy. Healthcare Triage is supported in part by viewers like you through Patreon.com, a service that allows you to support the show through a monthly donation. Your support helps us make this bigger and better. We'd especially like to thank our research associate, Cameron Alexander, and our first ever Surgeon Admiral, Sam. Thanks, Cameron. Thanks, Sam. More information can be found at Patreon.com slash Healthcare Triage.